Once you pick the type of printer you're going to print to, you need to pick the paper size. There are a lot of choices here. You have available right in this file an ANSI size. You also have architectural size, and you have ISO sizes as well. You have regular, and then you have full bleeds, etc. There are tons of choices. AutoCAD is about having choices. It's also about having too many choices, and it can be a problem. So this is going to just be a regular A size drawing, 8.5 by 11. We use that here in the United States quite often, and so that's what I'm just going to use. Now we have to pick the plot area. What are you going to print out? So you have a few choices. The display, which will print just what you're looking at. So I move this out of the way. What we see here on our screen, that's what's going to print. You can print to the extents. So as you can see the little preview right here, this is the extent of our drawing. Not real big, but it'll fit on the paper. You can pick a layout, and the layout is set up for an 8.5 by 11. It'll be whatever this paper size is. And then everything inside this area is what will be printed. Or you can pick a window. It depends on what you need. So windows are nice because let's say I just need this text printed. I can select it, and that's what's going to happen. Now hit your preview button, and it will show you what it's going to look like. See, that's all we picked for our window. When you're here, right click and you can plot right away. And this is what will plot. You can pan around or zoom, or you can exit, and that'll take you right back to your plot control window. I don't want to pick the window, so let's go with the layout. Now, different settings like the window or the extents are going to have this centering option. If you click it, it'll center it right into the sheet. Same thing with the window, it'll put it right in the middle. So then brings in the other setting, a scale factor. You can set it to fit the paper, and it will tell you the unit scale right here. Well, it's not 1 to 1, it's not 1 to 20, it's not you know, a quarter inch to a foot, whatever it is that you use for your scales. So be careful. So if you click it and then turn it back off, it keeps the scale that was there. You can just enter in the scale that you want to use. Then click up in another box and it will go. Now you can change it from inches or millimeters, depending on what you're using. And if you click here, you can get a different scale. Let's find the one you need. The majority of the times, though, you're going to set up your, what's called a page setup, and we'll look at those later on. And you're going to plot to layout, and you're going to plot a scale of 1 to 1. Because you set up your viewports already, because you're good CAD people, and you did things properly. And so you're printing out your paper space tab at a scale of 1 to 1. All of the scaling will be handled by the viewport. Now when you're plotting for model space, you're going to need to plot to some sort of scale because it's, everything is drawn 1 to 1 and that won't fit on your paper. So you're going to have to, unless you're drawing something that's 8.5 by 11 you know, in inches you know, long and wide. So that way you'll be okay. So once all of that is done, those are your basic settings. Pick your plotter, pick your paper size, Pick your plot area, center it if you want. The layout will automatically be centered. Your scale, and once you're finished, just click OK. One other thing, though, you're going to want to look at, because let's look at a preview here. This is how it's going to print right now. This is what it's going to look like, assuming you have a color printer. Obviously, if you have a black and white printer, it won't matter what color settings you use. It's only going to come out in black and white. Right click and exit to get out of here. But you do have one other setting that you can look at, and that's in a pen assignments. If you click here, you can set it to none. And if it's set to none, then everything is going to be controlled here on your screen. The color will be printed to that color, the thickness will be printed to that line thickness, etc. But through your plot styles, you can control all of that. So if we go with AutoCAD, it's a CTB file, that will print out like this. Simple enough. The AutoCAD CTB file is a lot like the None setting, but it gives you some controls. Another one you may want to look at is Grayscale. I bet you know how this is going to look, don't you? What? Why are they in color? 
because they're true color colors. We'll go over that in a little bit. If you go monochrome, what are you going to get? Same sort of thing. So you've got to be careful with your pins. You've got to know what you're printing out. Let's cancel this. And if you don't ever want to print, you know, you've started the command, just cancel out at any time and nothing will print. These are set right here to true colors. If I activate the viewport, which is set up to be a circular viewport here, and I pick one of these objects, I'm going to lock this viewport so I don't screw it up. If I zoom into one of these objects, it's just a solid, it's a rectangle shape. You see the color here? It's set to 0, 192, 100. Well, that's a true RBG color. If I click here and I go to select color, we have these three different tabs for color. The one we typically use in AutoCAD is the index color. It has all 255 colors that are available to us. But each color has an RGB or red, green, blue setting of three different colors. These will print black and white, any of these colors that I use, if I choose the monochrome setting. But the true colors will always print to their true colors. So if you want to override a pen setting and you want something to print out red, then set the RGB to red. You can just move your mouse over and pick one of these colors. And you can see what it's going to look like here. You can adjust the slider bar till you get what you want, or you can type it in right here. And now we've turned that block red. Well, let's undo that and get out of here. Now, if we look at the AutoCAD color index, these are the regular AutoCAD colors. Let's try to plot these out. We have our printer set up already, size. OK, AutoCAD, let's do a preview. OK, everything looks good. That's what we expected. Now let's switch to monochrome. There we go. Monochrome is just two different colors, black and white. There's no graying involved. It's black and white. So if there's an object, it's going to look black. So sometimes you need that. Sometimes it's just too much. If we go to grayscale, there we go. This is what your drawing is going to look like when you print it on a black and white printer. It'll be in shades of gray. So those are two differences in color types, AutoCAD colors and true colors. And depending on what you're trying to print out or what you need to do will be what you want to do. Stick with AutoCAD colors unless you absolutely need to override a color for some reason then use a true color. We'll pick a setting and then when you're done, click OK. And since I'm printing to a DWF file, I'm gonna save this to the cloud, give it a file name, you can browse to wherever you wanna save it to, and click save. And there you go, it saves your file. Now if you printed to a printer, you should have a hard copy now. So let's recap. If you want to print, start the print command, pick your printer, paper size, the print area, any centering, scaling, your pin table that you want to print to, and then click OK.